Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, one stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about HDP Certified Developer or HDP CD in short. So as, um, as part of this video, I will be covering the first topic of Flume um, in Hadoop certification uh, in the certification exam, which is given a Flume configuration file, start a Flume agent. So you should only understand uh, uh, as part of this learning task, you should only understand how to start a flume agent once the configuration file is provided to you so you can click on this link and it will take you to uh, the relevant portion of the uh, documentation which provides you the command a sample command to start the um, flume agent As, uh, so the to start the flume agent you have to use flume minus ng space agent and then minus n agent name minus c uh, cons uh, it is just a syntax that uh, you was trying to uh, uh, trying to uh, pass a file from the directory called cons and uh, minus s the configuration file name so whatever the directory name you are giving uh, for the configuration file you can uh, pass it from here this is not mandatory uh, you can just say minus f and uh, tell where your configuration file is. Sometimes we need to, uh, we will only say the directory name and in the directory you will have the shell script which will be invoked, which will be used to invoke the agent. Uh, so uh, here we are just, uh, they are just trying to show how various options can be used. So if you have to pass the directory, you have to use minus c and give the directory name. And if you want to give the configuration file name directly, you can say minus f. So now I'm going to my home directory. And uh, un if the Flume is installed on uh, your sandbox or any VM uh, image, or even in the Hadoop cluster, there will be a directory called etc flume cons. The way we have directories for Hadoop, uh, Hive, etc. The configuration directory and in this we will have several files um, most of them are templates uh, the shell script template for flume the properties uh, or configuration file template for the flume agent and log4j properties and other files so here we we have to focus on this one so this is the properties file which we will be using to start our flume agent uh, as part of this video if you open this file, flume minus cons properties dot template, um, you can see uh, the file. It has a source, it has a channel, and a sync. The source is of type sequence, and the channel is of type memory, and sync is of type logger. Okay, so we need to understand what is the sequence, what uh, what is this memory, and what is the logger. As we have seen. Earlier uh, means if you go through my Flume introduction uh, uh, video, which covers the architecture, I have explained what is the source, what is the channel, and what is the sync. And uh, uh, if you go through the material, you can see uh, under source there are several types of uh, them. And uh, if you look into all the sources, the, one of them is sequence generator source. If you click on it, it shows the, all the properties. And also, as I have explained earlier, so the first, uh, so the property names follow need to follow a particular standard. So for all the three, uh, three of these lines, you have the prefix of agent and then dot, and it says sources, channels, and things. So this is the agent name which we need to use. It can be anything. In this case, they named it as the agent. It can be anything. So uh, the name of the agent dot source, name of the agent dot channels, and name of the agent dot things. And if you want to define the properties, we have to say name of the agent dot sources dot whatever property uh, a name we are going to use, and then the property itself. In this case, if you look at this, you can see that agent name is agent and we are trying to set the property for the sources and uh, uh, 
uh, we are trying to property uh, set, uh, set the property for this source sequence gen source and the property we are trying to set is type and this sequence gen source comes from the name uh, we have given as part of agent.sources so agent name uh, what, uh, uh, what is the component uh, we are trying to set the properties on the name of the component and the name of the property which we are trying to set in this case type okay similarly um, the channel for this source is memory channel again the name memory channel came from here okay so agent sources sequence gen source channel is memory channel like that we uh, the properties are set so in this case what will happen is uh, to understand what hap uh, what will happen in this the source uh, of type sequence generator and the memory and the logger sync you can go to the documentation uh, right now we are in the sequence generator source because we have clicked on that uh, just before I explain uh, those uh, lines in the configuration file and uh, you can see that a, a sequence generator source is nothing but a simple sequence generator that continuously generates events with a counter that starts from zero and increments by one by default if you want to change it you can change um, the increment by value I think by using batch size okay it's it's only for testing you we don't use it for in uh, uh, production anywhere so if you want to just test the flume you can uh, use the sequence generator source and then from source the data will go through the channel and in this case the channel is memory channel so again if you want to understand what is the memory channel you can click on uh, the memory channel and fl under flume channels which means that before passing data to sync uh, the data will be buffered in memory and uh, here are the properties which we will see later uh, for a memory channel uh, like capacity 100 so the uh, instead of uh, sending each uh, uh, each value that is generated by sequence generator source it will pool based upon this capacity and transaction capacity and once uh, once these thresholds have reached then only it will push the data to the downstream sync okay so and all this happens in memory itself if you use file channel it you know, the data will be uh, flushed into a file before passing on to sync so depending upon the type of channel we are using it behaves accordingly okay and then the sync is logger Lo uh, so when you actually start the agent um, if you provide uh, the sync as logger whatever uh, information that comes to flume agent will be logged in the flume, uh, the, uh, the flume agent that will be running again if you want to understand more about it you can go to the documentation portion sources syncs channel is already covered and in sync uh, you can see the logger sync so it's uh, it logs event at info level typically uses for you typically useful for testing or debugging purpose so these are the things which are used as part of this uh, 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 agent configuration file you can uh, uh, come out of it go to any location and then run flume ng command um, make sure it is working by just typing enter if it is not working that means the environment variables are not properly set and you have to work on that before running the command anyway flume ng agent is the command to start the agent and you have to give the name of the agent and the, uh, you can give the name of the agent either by using minus n or minus minus name both are uh, same hyphen hyphen name or hyphen n and in this case the name of the agent should be whatever name we have provided as part of the configuration file in this case it is agent if you see all the lines have the first word is agent before the first dot or full stop so that you have to give the same name if you give something else it will not work okay and then if you want to use the configuration directory you can say minus c and give the configuration directory but in this case I am trying to use configuration file which is under etc flume cons 
flumecon.properties.template. This is the properties file which we are trying to use to run our flume ng agent. Flume agent. Now the agent is being started. And you can see the data just streaming in, um, uh, which is nothing but our sequence uh, generated number. Uh, because our source is sequence generator source, data is coming into the memory and then uh, getting into the sync. Memory is the channel and the sync is logger, which is nothing but uh, the logging of our flow agent server, which is running uh, because uh, when we invoke it by using the command flu minus ng agent uh, and blah 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 again the most important aspect of this learning task as per the certification is once you have a configuration file like flu com dot property dot template which is using the sequence uh, for source sequence generator for source memory for channel and uh, uh, logger for sync uh, you should be able to start the uh, agent. To start the agent, the command is flu minus ng space agent. Give the agent name using hyphen n or hyphen hyphen name, and the name should match um, the agent name in the configuration file. And then you have to give the configuration uh, location either by uh, passing the directory name by using minus c or hyphen c or hyphen hyphen cons or you can give uh, hyphen s or hyphen hyphen conf file so again if you want to get the syntax just type flu minus ng or flu hyphen ng and hit enter you can see uh, that you can pass the configuration file either by hyphen f or hyphen hyphen conf hyphen file okay so this is how you can start the flu agent i hope you are clear um, on the first learning task uh, of our Hadoop certification which is given a Flume configuration file start a Flume agent. Uh, that being said, if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss further about uh, uh, certifications or big data, please join my LinkedIn group for uh, groups called ITVersity. Uh, hyphen, uh, uh, certifications or itversity hyphen big data and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye